Hey guys, Vegathron here. In this series, we'll be going through each and every charm in Hollow Knight. But this won't just be your normal charm guide. We'll be going deeper than ever before, by the numbers to uncover absolutely everything we can about each charm. And you can expect the same thing when Silk Song comes out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Eye of Blood. This charm costs four notches and regenerates the last mask lost over time. This charm can be found in the Hive, in a room after defeating the Hive boss. Hive Blood lets you recover one mask of health after taking damage. It takes 10 seconds for the mask to recover and can be interrupted if you take further damage, which will cause the process to start again. Visually, the Knight's mask will be replaced with a honeycomb style mask. And when one is regenerating, it will take on the appearance of dripping honey and slowly grow until it forms a full honeycomb mask. If the Knight takes two damage at once, only one mask will regenerate. Healing while the mask is regenerating will restore the same mask, negating Hive Blood's effect. This charm is particularly useful for platforming sections, as you can simply wait the 10 seconds if you fall into spikes to recover the lost health. It's also useful when exploring, as there's often a break between combat encounters, meaning it has the time it needs to function. This can be used with Grubberfly's Allergy and Grub Song in place of Deep Focus to cheese platforming sections, and will let you generate infinite soul. However, unlike the Deep Focus setup, you'll have to make sure you don't take damage again within the 10 seconds between each platforming attempt. It can also be used in combat where stopping to focus is difficult, although care must be taken not to take additional damage while the mask is regenerating, or the charm will lose effectiveness. Any charms that can prevent damage, such as Carefree Melody, Dream Shield, or to a lesser extent Belder Shell, synergize well with Hive Blood, and can prevent regeneration from being interrupted. Equipping Hive Blood will also render enemies in the hive passive, which is useful if you ever have a reason to go back to the area. Overall, Hive Blood is a decent charm that performs well in specific scenarios, or in the hands of players who don't often get hit. Just keep in mind, it can be rendered completely useless if you play poorly, which is a huge problem considering its hefty 4 notch cost. Hive Blood Special Interactions Combining Hive Blood and Journey's Blessing will not disable the regenerative effect of Hive Blood. The last mask lost will slowly regenerate, taking 20 seconds instead of the usual 10. The masks will also take on a unique appearance of blue honeycomb. When combining Hive Blood, Journey's Blessing, and Fury of the Fallen, the knight gets to one mask and lets Hive Blood recover the second mask, the damage buff of Fury of the Fallen will be retained for Nail and Nail Arts, but not Hatchlings, even though you'll have two masks of health. That's all for this episode. If you learned something, help me out by subbing and dropping a like, and I hope to see you in the next episode, featuring Spore Shroom.